Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to make the assembly and drafting of the screw jack in CAT. Yeah. In the previous videos, you have seen how to make the parts of the screw jack, and you can find the link for those videos in the description. And you can also find the playlist in my channel also. And now we don't need any of these drawings, and we'll just go to CAT yeah, mechanical design and assembly design. And first, we'll go to we have, we have already created the components that is the parts and we have saved those so we we'll just use the existing component from here and or you can if you cannot find this you can if you cannot find this tool go to insert and here you will see existing component and just click on this product and now here we will have all the parts and now we will just go to first we will import the body and we will click on open and now we are having the body and we will just change the shaded uh, that is the material view to shading with edges so that we can find the edges for now for assembly purpose and now we will just now now we can see that uh, and now we need to fix this part to fix this part click on the part and here you'll see an option called fix component in the constraint fix here and now we'll just use the other parts so i'll go to insert and i'll just and i'll add the other components now itself you can see all the components are added to move the components first i'll hide the body to hide the body i'll just right click on this and hide and i'm going to use the manipulation tool to move the parts so i'll just select this and i want and you can choose the direction or the axis of rotation about which you need to move and i'm going to move it along the z axis first this one and this one as well and this one i'm going to move it along y axis and this one I'm going to go along the set. And now we'll click on OK. And now we'll make sure, and now we'll just apply the constraint. First, I'll make sure that this hole rotates on this side. So, to up make that, uh, uh, first I'll make sure the body is visible now. First, I'll expand this, and here you can see the different planes of the body. I'll unhide this, and I'll make sure, and I'll uh, show, I'll unhide these two. This also. And I'll make sure that the screw spindle planes are shown and the, as well as the nut as uh, so or not the nut the cup so that we can apply the constraints to the planes so I'll make sure that first I'll go inside this and this and I'll make sure that all the things are coinciding first and I'll double, we'll double click on that so that I'm going to use it again and again And you can see, uh, we can see that there is no upper, although we have selected the center line of all the 
parts but you are not so you are but you are not able to see the constraint supply so first we'll exit from this constraint and now we'll just use the control view to update or here you see this icon the you can just see and see the update and it gets updated and now we'll just add this code now i'll make sure that this and these are coincidence i'll just do control u and you can see it has been flipped and now i don't need this plane so i'm going to hide it and now i'll hide the planes of the screw spindle now and now i'll add the offset constraint and i'm going to make sure, uh, first i'll may i'll add the contact constraint itself first i'll choose this flatten and this flatten and i leave the control u to update and you can see it has been placed and now i'll and now i'll just move this using the manipulation tool and i'll make sure and afterwards i'll uh, add the offset distance and i'll specify the offset from I'll add the offset from this plane to this plane and I'm going to specify it as it is showing now it is showing 105 now I'll add it at minus 100 and we can just update it from this or using control U also you can update it and now you can see it has been updated if you want to edit the distance you can just click on it or add minus 80 and update it and you can see and now i'll add another constraint for this one as well and i'll make sure that this and this are coincident and i've applied the constraint and now i don't need these two planes i just hide it and I'll apply the coincident constraint now. Now I'll select this plane and this plane. And it has not been updated, so I'll just use Ctrl U. And now I'll add the washer. So I need to have a proper view. So I'll add the washer now. So just use this command and I'll just choose this plane and this plane now. Each and every time when you add the constraint, you have to use the update option, otherwise it will not be updated. And you can, I'm going to change the back view to top view. And now here you can see it has been properly applied. And and here you see we have imported two washers. So I'm going to delete uh, one washer which we have not added the constraint so I'll just delete this and now I'll add one more constraint coincident this face should coincide with this face and I'll update it and now you can see it has been updated and the last thing is we need to apply the Tommy bar so I'll just 
में शादा टी सेंटर now they are updated and now I'll just change the view to isometric and now here we cannot add the constraint properly so i'm going to move and apply the fix command and I'll move, use the manipulation tool and I'm going to move in a proper direction I'm going to move it along y-axis yeah and then ok and I'll fix this tummy bar and now we are done and now we'll just go back and change the view to shaded with material and now we are done and uh, we'll just save this and i'm going to go save it as project assembly and we we can create a section view also to create a section view and here you will see an option called suctioning just click on that one and here it shows uh, this option and this I'll just use this volume cut so that you can just see or uh, this is a suction plane cut you can just see how it works and I'm going to use a suction plane cut and then click on ok now you can see how it has been cut at, 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 the, at the suctioning you can see how the internal components are placed Yeah, and you can see and to get rid of the suction view go to application expand here and then hide this and that's it and now we'll see how to make the drafting and we'll keep this as open and now we'll go to mechanical design and we'll go to drafting and by default here you're having the automatic layout but we are not going to use this uh, layout but this is for the first angle projection and this is for the third angle projection we'll just use the empty one and then click on ok and first we'll add the base view we'll just click on the front view over here or go to insert views proje projection and front view it has been deselected views projection and print view and go here and select from here and here you can see the view and now here you will see the view properly I will just change the view to top view yeah and this is the top view and we'll just click on it and I'll just change the scale right click properties and here we'll show the hidden lines and the scale there is 1 is 1 so we'll click on ok and now we'll just use the suctioning tool so we'll just click on suctioning tool over here and now we'll just see yeah we'll just apply from here and now you can see that it is fully suctioned now half suction it is there then and you can just move it a little bit up and now I'll add the isometric view
and here I'll change the view to isometric and select this view go to properties and make sure it is the raster view high quality we just use the shading and then we click on ok and now you can see the shaded view and now we'll add the bill of materials to add the bill of materials go to generation bill of materials advanced bill of materials and we'll click on ok and i'm going to choose this view and now you can see the table has been appeared and i'll place it over here and just zoom in and i'll just edit this material i'll just edit this table and i'll go to the reported format sorry the reported properties and i'm going to change the properties that is the reported i don't need the i need quantity part number i don't need the type and i don't need the nomenclature and revision and i'm going to add material and i'm going to add the part number okay here the part number we can add and i'm going to add the weight also if you want you can add and i'm going to apply the part number is there part number quantity material and num and uh, item number just add the item number there and the part and we don't, we don't think we need the item number we just add the material and i'm going to move it down part number i need it up and then ok and now you can see the bill of material and now we'll add the drawing sheet for this one we'll go to uh, edit and we'll go to the sheet background and we'll go to insert we'll go and uh, go to drawing and insert frame and title block and the default templates appear and you can just choose and i'm going to choose this one and apply as you can see in the background the title block appears and now we'll click on ok and now you can see the title block is there and we'll go to edit and click on working views again so that we can work with the views and now we can see the title block and that's it and you can save this file and you can save it in different formats pdf or autocad format dwg and cat drawing anything you can save and uh, we can you and can print it also and we'll just save it and thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions thank you